One of the things I absolutely love about working with Cupchairs is it's so fast paced and something lands across your desk and in the field of music, you just never know when you're going to discover something absolutely special. Well, both things happen today and I'm going to tell you all about it. So, hey music lovers, welcome back to Cupchairs. This is your number one spot for all things music and photography and NFT related. Today, I've got something absolutely brilliant for you. We're diving into Troy Red Fern's latest album, Invocation. And trust me, this is one wild, this is one wild ride. I, I'm so excited. I can't speak, but you do not want to miss two seconds. I'll be back. Troy Redfern, if you don't know, uh, and I didn't, is a sensational British guitarist, singer, a multi-instrumentalist, a super hyper-talented gentleman. And uh, he, he, critics say he's done it again with this album. And uh, with Invocation, he's bending blues and hard rock into an explosive mix that's both raw and catchy. It's a roller coaster of intense vocals and fiery slide guitar that will leave you breathless. I've said this before, this is one of my so I hear guitarists that make me want to throw my guitar in the bin, but this time I really mean it. The album kicks off with The Strange, a perfect blend of glam rock and biting slide guitar. It's like Aerosmith, Johnny Winter had a, a baby, uh, and, and of course that baby is Troy Redfern. And yeah, uh, just when you've caught your breath, the next track, Gateway, hits you with energizing kind of melodics and, uh, and, and the vibes that just keep the blood pumping. This is just... Uh, like an absolutely astonishing album. I literally had to put my tools down here at my desk, uh, disregard the fancy cup chairs background I normally record uh, against and, and listen to this whole album. Uh, there's just so many standout tracks. Native brings a neo-Western vibe that kind of starts atmospheric and then explodes into a full-on rocker all night long. Perhaps one of my favourites is just pure high energy good time fun. Uh, it's just a kind of blues rock masterpiece uh, and The Last Stand uh, also caught my ears. A wonderful eastern tinge anthem uh, towards the back end of the track. It's what can I say? What can I say? If I've done, if I've introduced anyone to something brilliant, it is this above all reviews I've done this week. And guess what? Troy Redfern and his band are playing live tonight at the Bannermans in Edinburgh. Uh, we will be covering the event. We're so fortunate. So keep an eye out for our post gig social media material and of course that unique collection of photos available on our website in fact why not sign up for our updates uh, but only after you've given this awesome album a listen uh, it's currently on tour and there are there are dates if you're not edinburgh based uh, leave a little graphic up here so you can see uh, i'm particularly personally eyeing up that new cross gig uh, later on uh, trust me get if you haven't heard Troy Redfern, this is absolutely, uh, this, is, this is a guitarist's a wet dream. Like, if I had an even ounce of that talent, um, uh, man, wow, it should be life-changing. It was such, such a good album. So that's all for today. Crank up the volume, dive into Invocation, and get ready to rock with Troy Redfern. This is Ben at Cup Cheers signing off. Uh, Hopefully, I'll see some of you at a Troy Redford gig, but if not, I'll see you here on this channel soon.